out for most customers is this screen and you just check the boxes for the shipping methods that you want to enable. So if you want ground, three day, second day, and next day air from UPS, you just check these boxes, uncheck everything else, click save changes, and that's it. Those are the live rates that will show up. But let's go ahead and go inside of each one of these because some of you may have some more customized shipping methods that need to be implemented. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside of UPS ground and go over each of the fields here. Shipping method ID is just the ID. When you add a new shipping method, you have to create a new ID. It doesn't auto ID for you. So just I usually start at 9,000 and just go up from there for all the custom shipping methods. System is either live, backup, free, download, pickup, fixed, missing, or default. These last two are relics from previous versions. Don't worry about them. Live means that this is a live rate connected to some API, FedEx, DHL, USPS, or UPS. The way the software knows is by the gateway field over here. As you can see right here, here are all the different carriers that you can choose. Backup is back basically just that. It is it will it's not a live rate. Gateway doesn't matter and shipping method doesn't matter when it's set to backup. And all that matters is the advanced options, which is the base rate and the cost per pound, and that's it. This then this is a backup rate. It will calculate exactly like it's supposed to from here. On right here. Free is only used for the free shipping method. Download is used for any software items or any not really software, just any electronic items that you sell. The software chooses online delivery download when the product has nothing in the product weight field, meaning that it's null, not zero, not a point anything, just nothing when it's blank. That's when the software knows that this is a software download or downloadable product, so it needs to use the download shipping rate. Pickup is basically in-store pickup. If you see this on the front of your store and you've tried everything and you've unchecked the, the shipping method, the reason probably is is that you're logged in as the admin. The software automatically adds the in-store pickup when you're logged into the store as the admin because it thinks that you are doing POS or point of sale inside the store and the only way to get to point of sale is to be the admin. So if you see it, log out of the store and check to see if you see it anymore. And if you don't, then you're fine. Fixed is a fixed shipping rate. It, it basically takes the base rate and that's it. And that's the shipping rate for that field. Shipping method name is whatever you want to name it. If you're creating a new one, you can say, you know, seven day ground or slow shipping method or whatever you want to call it. Shipping order by is how you sort the shipping methods together. All right, let's go ahead and get to the next section, apply the shipping method to. If you check apply to all, it will apply to every single country and state in the world, or basically every single country and state that you have selected in your country section. Apply to con entire countries is just that. Now, if you have these two filled out and this box checked, nothing in these two boxes is gonna matter. If you wanna ship only to certain countries, Apply to all must be unchecked, and then you can select the countries. Or if you want to shift to only states, just choose United States, and the states will show up here, or you can add them from here. However, do not apply to is mainly for what you see here, states and provinces. There may be occasions where you want to apply to an entire country, but you want it to show up on the front of your store to the customer. I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but we give you the option just in case. Do not apply to basically is just that. Let's say you want to you sell only to the 48 contiguous states. You can just say apply to entire countries, but don't apply to these states. And then that's what it would do. Backup base rate is, well, before I go into what these are, let me tell you how the software calculates backup. The formula goes base rate plus cost per pound times weight. So let's say the total order weight was... 10 pounds, then the final shipping tally will be 709 plus 710, which is 10 times 0.71. And so 14, whatever that ends up being, will be the shipping rate. So that's how the system calculates backup base rates. Extra shipping cost is just like what we saw in the shipping rates, except it only applies to this method, just like an extra cost percent. Minute order and max order price basically says only show this shipping method if the order falls in between these values or is above 50 or whatever 
or is below 200. Same thing goes for min order weight and max order weight. If the total order weight is between, between two weight classes, then show this shipping method.